And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an Echo run, another Lab of Legends legendary run. As y'all know, we're trying to go through each one of the 20 champions. Right now, we have only have uh, six left, I believe. Echo, Aphelios, Hymer, Lulu, Hecarim, and Talia. Yeah, so we have six left. All the, the other 14 are all up on our playlist over there on YouTube. And now we're going to add another champion with Echo. All right, so we're going to play on legendary mode and kind of showing off like the very best passive power to start with with each champion. Echo has a new uh, power, passive power, that we haven't used with any other champion yet, so that's exciting. Feral Senses is going to be our first uh, one to go here because we get to uh, create a Feral Presence in hand, which is the zero cost card that predicts. And so you get to predict every single round, and so therefore you get to level up Echo pretty fast, uh, and that's why it makes that so strong. And plus, you know, you get to really set up your draws every single round. So Echo is a fun champion to play because you get uh, all sorts of control over um, over everything that happens in the game because you're going to be predicting every single round. So we're going to be playing lots of cards. It's Echo is probably a longer champion to play in this. Let's see. Let's head on over to our Lagoon. We'll use our Pool Party Heimer. Echo's one of the longer champions in the game, but you do play lots and lots of cards. So there's the... Uh, uh, there's the reward thing that wants you t to play a whole lot of cards to uh, to get, the, you know, like one of the prismatic rewards. Whatever, whatever those things are called. <laughs> so this is a good champion to play because you play lots of cards. That's what I'm trying to say. Anywho, let's go ahead and keep Fallen Feline. And we'll send the rest, you know, send these other back. We got a 1, 2, 3 curve. Ugh. Drop Order is definitely a card that we just want to see for free. I'll just go ahead and play Drop Order. Drop Order is a good surprise, blocker. Surprise. Get. So every round we're going to be predicting. I'm playing the Fallen Feline next round. I'm going to be waiting on this time trick. I guess it could be attacking for one. Cool. We can block that. Fallen feline. Skip. All right. Well, we just naturally drew the hexite crystal. Unfortunately, we didn't get it for free. Off of a predict. Man, skip again. Looking for echo. Which I, I probably should have played that one first before the Perfectionist anyway, with the Perfectionist being second. But alright, we found an Echo. Got our champ. Echo's already at 4 out of 5. Let's make that leveled up. Get these Chrono Breaks in here. All right, so we're still taking zero damage. Okay, I'm gonna take an extra. I was looking for Chrono Break, of course. You can still find it here, though. Yeah, Chrono Break. Get to Rally. Attack some more. Mm. 
Probably should have done that next round. Yeah, I guess I should have done that next round. Because I wanted to have, because I probably should have done that like whenever we had the Hexite Crystal also available. Chrono Break. Yeah, Chrono Break. Cool, so we'll still have that for next round. Skip. You do have those two cards that are just not any good, the Parade Electro Rig and the Arrow Knot card. Probably not casting either of those cards basically any time. Cool. Attack again. All right, so still at one. I'm gonna go ahead and play this called shot and just put the parallel convergence in the deck. Parallel convergence and Chrono Break. So you can see why this is a longer champion <laughs> to play. But you do get to, to play a lot of games. So yeah, uh, for the power, we got the uh, Feral Presence power, this thing. Feral Senses. So we were predicting every single round. So we level up Echo super fast and get the Chrono Breaks in the deck. Secondary champ time. All right, secondary champ time. Who do we got? Gangplank, Yasuo, and Katarina. None that I absolutely love. I wish, like, if Gangplank had, like, a one drop to go along with it, I would like it. But just Warning Shot and then even Monkey Idol. These are just pretty weak cards to go along with Gangplank. Yasuo is pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, that just raises the curve more. I guess I'm going to go with the Katarina. Just because we get the one drop with the Legion Saboteur. And, I don't know, we can put some powers on Katarina or something. We're not really going to be too much of a Katarina deck, but that's alright. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Um, but I don't really want to use a lot of rerolls. I've liked Karma in the past. With this, like Karma get, gets like the Eye of the Dragon for the, the Nexus healing. Um, that's been a, a champion I've really liked. Mistrates. We're gonna keep Pickpocket and Perfectionist, they're both block Mistrates. Good, they got the ephemeral hapless aristocrat. That was pretty nice. Really drop order. Maybe we should keep that other perfectionist. Yeah, maybe we should keep that other perfectionist. Vandal City released. My guess is about a month ago. The question was how long ago did it release? That's probably my guess is probably about a month ago. More echoes. This echo does have a pretty good champion spell. It's slow. But it's a good champion spell. Got a lot of these hapless aristocrats. So I need something to block the 7-6. That'll be you. And then... We'll gotcha this thing. Give me a fall T-line. 
Next round we could have Echo plus Fallen Feline. It's going to take a while to win this game. Just having Echo grind through all this stuff. We could, if we get to the point like where we can find a, a few different rallies or have a leveled up Katarina rally, that kind of stuff, you know, we can might Echo and then be able to attack a whole lot in one round, potentially, over and over with an overwhelm Echo. I shouldn't have played the zero cost one first, but that's how life is. Alright, we'll take. So we're gonna I'm gonna play these cold shots. Sound of That's fine. Let's get parallel convergence in the deck. Hey, what's up, Katarina? Hope you're doing well. Something for tomorrow. Yay, Fallen Feline. So take three. From the Dusk Rider. Parallel Convergence. Let the blood shed begin. This is Summon Rally? Okay. No, 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 no. What are we doing here? Vengeance? No. That's not cool. Alright, so I was planning on uh, going with the parallel convergence there. Parallel Convergence is pretty cool with Katarina. You get to put an additional Katarina back into your hands. I just want to just keep you on play. I don't want to spend the mana again to play it. Yeah, because this is perfect mana for Hexite Crystal, Parallel Convergence, and Echo. And these Hexite Crystals are good. So we're going to be at 22 life heading into Thrash. Yeah, get more Hexite Crystals. See, watch this Katarina. See, it strikes. It's supposed to be Ephemeral, right? But it says Strike Recall Me, and that happens before it dies from being Ephemeral. So we get new Katarina in our hand. So that's pretty cool. Oh, but they're dead. But that's pretty cool. Plus four, plus four, but cost two more. Man, that could be kind of cool with... Uh, eh, maybe not. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go with the Ancient Coin. I love. I definitely like reducing the cost of these. Let's go ahead and reduce the cost of Echo. I mean, Katarina is like the one that kind of makes sense to reduce the cost of because you get to continually replay it kind of thing. But I, I don't really care about that. I'm, I'm, we're making an Echo deck, not a Katarina deck. So, sorry, Katarina. We're going to have Echo have cost reduction. I want more copies of Echo, basically. Okay. Uh... 
These two aren't bad. Whirling Death and Rune Weaver. Neither one are that bad. I can see taking either one. I don't. We're not going to take the Flame Chompers. Um, the Whirling Death is good with Echo blocking. We probably have enough one and two mana units, and with with our ability, we probably don't need Rune Weaver. Let's take the take Whirling Death. Okay, Thresh time. Yeah, Whirling with Echo is really nice. It'll get you the, the zero cost spell, and it'll just against different challengers and big overwhelms, all that kind of stuff. You know, it just helps protect Echo. All right, cool. We'll keep the hand. Allows us to play a little bit of defense. A little better. My past flashes. <laughs> Don't really want any of those. Get that out of here. And I'm going to make this block so that they don't get to turn the Warden's Prey into a two drop. Oh, why don't I just do that first? <laughs> I could have just blocked the one three. <laughs> that makes me feel silly. I can see grabbing that might. That makes me feel silly. Just in case we got another drop border. Alright, Echo's getting close to the level up. That level's up, Echo. But I'm one mana short from being able to block this 5 5 and then Whirling Death to 5 5. This not really helped that much. I have my orders. Explosives primed. Wow, but they just didn't attack. I don't know why. That will be turned into something else. Tortured Prodigy. Okay. Definitely taking Chrono Break. So next round, we have six mana. Perfect. So I have exactly enough for Echo and Chrono Break. Perfect. Well, that doesn't. The box doesn't do anything right there. Without mercy, going somewhere. Let's 
Okay. So all these things will die. Their thresh level's up. But I'm fine with it. So the chrono break I imagine is gonna go left to right, so it should we should you know, get both of them back and play. Both Katarina and Echo. I would imagine. So we should have two Echoes in play now. Cool, cool, cool. No, another Thresh is the box? Oh no, my beautiful plan. All for naught. I had a plan. Oh, I shouldn't be playing this. Alright, well, whatever, those are all terrible anyway. My beautiful plan? This is a problem. This is a problem. Yeah, they already played a, a, the box that round. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with those two units. I could, you know, I can obviously I can chrono break those two. New tech, new tricks, new day, new something. Thank you. That prankster is, wasn't anything that I wanted to deal with. talking. Now we're talking. Looks like crystal. Yeah. Now we're talking. You think I wait for their attack? If I pass the round, the thing is, like, if Thresh puts another champion in play, I don't know if it will. 
I can only block two things. Like, I'm taking lethal. No, I guess. Yeah, if it put. Depends on what to put. What, what it puts in. But yeah, that was my plan was to wait till this round for the chrono break. I think that's what we gotta do. Please don't put in a champion. Okay, good. They don't have another champion to put in. Okay, so we're only taking three. Better not have a the box. I'd be sad if they did. Oh, ruination. That is also sad. Okay, so hopefully Pickpocket hits for three. Okay, now we're going to draw Fallen Feline. That puts a Hexite Crystal into the deck. And then we're going to find the Hexite Crystal with the Feral Presence. Oh, wait. I also get to attack right away. I have the attack token this round. Yes! Wow, that was the most difficult Thresh I've ever played against. That was the hardest fought game against the rush wow I have lost the thresh before so I guess maybe that wasn't the most difficult one but man that was tough okay whenever you summon a unit grant it fury it's a dragon these are all okay powers I like Battlefield Training and Dragon's Rage more than the other two, but neither one is spectacular. Battlefield Training is kind of nice, though, with, like, Drop Orders and Fallen Felines, especially Drop Orders. Like, that's actually a good power for the Drop Orders. So we could do that. I also kind of wouldn't mind using a reroll. Um, what am I... I guess... I don't know exactly what I'm looking for with a reroll, but I think we can use a reroll. Like, that's a pretty decent power, but it's not amazing. Okay, spells cost one less. That's what I'm talking about. We have a lot of spells in our deck. Let's make them cost one less. Yeah. Speaking of lots of spells. I actually like all three of these. We usually have cards to discard. Roar the Slayer is going to be a lot better against like the... Um, the Freljord decks are about to play, but we'd rather have Mystic Shot against, like, the PNZ decks, probably. But Syncopation's not bad, either. Yeah, the best defense is a good, good healing thing for Echo, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll just take Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's usually good. Okay, let's send all these back. Keep one perfectionist. We got the hunters. Why am I drawing you, drop order? Nice day. If you're into coughing. That's what I want you to do, drop order. This is my time. So one of these will be vulnerable. They'll they have they always have like the ice fill archer for the frostbite. Along, little ones. Oh, not going that route. Safeguard our homes. Real good 
good to see you. Echo. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius punk buddy, I'd be weirded out Rude. if I wasn't. Could take Katarina. I don't know, I'm kind of skipping. So they wouldn't have done, they would not have Frostbit and then Echo would have st st struck and we would have had one mana. There it is. Um, one mana predict. Will help. Just out of and so then we would have had leveled up Echo right there. Chrono Break! Chrono Break me off a piece of that. Chrono Break. Do have another echo on top. Okay. More Katarina. No. Let's go more echo. Machine's bright. Super cool. Because now Echo's champion spell only costs one mana. That's a lot better. I do my own stunts. Alright, so we'll call shot. Get that parallel convergence in here. Now a time trick. Kind of looking for parallel convergence and uh, chrono break. Chrono break. Until next round for that. What you looking for? Okay, so I was going to play the perfectionist, but since we had another chrono break on top, it's waited. Wow, claw. Do 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 do. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Alright, so we're gonna let uh, that echo die, bring it back. I'm gonna wait on you two till next round with having the chrono break next round. Sure, we'll take a missing shot. It only costs one mana. You can kill that thing. And my hope is that with attacking, then Chrono Break, we can win this next round. Attacker 12. No, they, they've shown to have Frostbite, so basically just in case they have a Frostbite. Wait on that might. Speaking of frostbites. Katarina. Yeah. 
more echo. Okay, now that my whole team isn't frostbitten. play so many cards with Echo. It is crazy. Crazy how many cards you play. We haven't really leveled up Katarina too much. We could at least do that before the game ends. This is going to be a long, long lab run. <laughs> That's what Echo is. But it's a lot of fun because you have so much control over these games, as you can see, with predicting every single round. This will, you know, kind of just improve your your game, you know, because you're going to, um, you know, you'll have lots and lots of decisions to make. So it's just going to improve your um, ability to make decisions practicing with Echo. All right, so death ray minus one cost. I don't think I really want that. Vanguard's Edge. I don't really want that either. This makes a Poro. I don't really want that either. All right, so I don't want any of these cards in my deck because death ray will just, yeah, I'll just kind of clean up our like it's already we already have minus one cost anyway, so really don't need that. I don't like using. Okay, well, this is this doesn't say spell reinforcements. It's regular reinforcements. I don't love using my rerolls on these kind of things, but I just don't want any of these cards. Cool, we can get regular cards, not just spells. But Static Shock Heal, Nexus 3. I like that. Phage on this thing, so it's just a 7-5. Or give that thing Quick Attack. I don't know if we really need the Sump Worker. There are, or, there are other ways for us to make more Sump Workers. I guess the, the main one being... You know, like, there's Electro Rig and Perfectionist, with the main one being the Perfectionist. Let's heal our Nexus 3 with Static Shock. It'll be 3 mana Static Shock. Alright, so now this is just Mystic Shock costing 0. We'll just have... We'll have Mystic Shock cost 0. Zero's good. All right, the scars. So we got static shocks and mystic shots. This is not the matchup for static shock, however. Not against the scar ground. Usually they play two health things here on two. Yeah, Feral Mystic and... I guess Feral Mystic doesn't technically have two health. But with a, you know... It's something that a two power thing can kill, unless they Elixir Iron. All right, so not using Elixir Iron. Genius punk buddy. Well, I'd be weirded out if I wasn't. This is my future. I do have Whirling Death in case we want it. Okay. Because they can use Elixir of Iron there and kill my Echo. Because the, the quick attack damage happens first, and then it gets buffed up 
and then the other damage happens. Right, so that goes at two. It will now be three. Now be four. Take these fallen key lines. They're pretty cool. It's now five. Actually, pretty gotcha on top. Round three, leveling up Echo. We have already used two of our rerolls. A lot of rerolls. Convergence in there as well. And now, predict. I'm just gonna skip. Because again, we want our Chrono Breaks, Parallel Convergence, those two cards. Yeah, Chrono Break. Okay, so they're at 15. The winter's claw strikes. Hmm. No, put another parallel convergence in the deck. All these spells costing one less has definitely been really nice. Should have feral presence first. I do my own stunts. I'll take everything. Time trick. Chrono break. Alright, round five kill. Yeah, I definitely really like all these spells costing one less. This makes life a lot better. Okay, so we got a good amount of life heading into Sejuani. Doing a little bit better than what we did against Thresh, But of course, we did have a lot of life going into Thresh, I guess. It was Thresh that kicked our butt. So double blessing of Targon for four mana. Survival skills, draw a card, eh. Or coup de gras. Place an enemy follower into the enemy deck, then your opponent draws a card. So that'll be a three mana card. So we want three mana, coup de gras. We'll have four mana, blessing of Targon, double blessing of Targon. That's tough, that's tough. I'm kind of thinking... Alright, a rose to the donation deck for Lysandra Thralls. Cool, cool, cool. I'm kind of thinking this card, this coup de gras. Thinking they... We do... Yeah. People have... Oh, but then they also draw a card. Because they're, they're going to have some large followers in, like, this Sejuani match. And then also the last two PNCs. There's going to be some larger followers. It's only a three mana card. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do. Oh, every time trick heals our Nexus three. Let's go. We, we cast so many time tricks. That's awesome. Because, you know, that, that includes all the, all the ones that Echo makes. And so how we play all these time tricks. Now they are all going to heal our Nexus three. Wow. That is going to be nice. Alright, time trick. 
now very strong. Alright, send all you back. Let's keep uh, this thing. Because you gotta kill Weirding Stones. Killing Weirding Stones is really important. And so now we should hopefully be able to kill Weirding Stones with double Mystic Shant right away. Obviously hate having both the drop orders. But so is life. Come on, please. Yes, okay. Because they probably had Fury of the North. If they wanted to, they could have played Fury of the North. Give me that time trick. Let's look for Echo. I should be playing time trick first. Good thing that there was nothing there. Uh, I guess Static Shock draws a card. But their things are so much larger. Don't want Static Shock is useful. Well, or take Whirling Death. Uh, I'll take this. Surprise! Surprise! Where did they go off to? So we'll be able to do one damage to the Omen Hawk, and then yeah, like one damage to something else. I don't know what else here. Where is Echo? Where are you, Echo? There's Cat. I do kind of need to spend mana, but... I don't think we'll run into Echo eventually. We're looking at four new cards every round at, at minimum. The card that we draw plus three others from the Feral Presence. Finally. There you are. There you are. I have my orders. You gotta believe me. Cool. Alright, that one and this one. Ready. Block there. -uh. And then you just block one of these things. I like it, Aroas. Yeah, we need to do some ranking up. I want to put Parallel Convergence into the deck. Probably. Bad at predicting this game. Looking, of course, for all these different. Um, ways to revive. Okay, parallel convergence. Let's go with that. So that costs three. If we can find Chrono Break, we're going to be looking real good if we can find Chrono Break, and then we get a second Echo back. Chrono Break! Oh, no Chrono Break. It's risky. I kind of, you know, I'd want to block with Echo here. Well, Let's do it. 
We have a backup echo just in case everything goes wrong. But this sure is risky, but if we can find Chrono Break here. Yes! Let's go. So we should get. Should have two echoes now. Oh man, and having the spells cost one less has been so clutch. Now we just get more Hexite Crystals in there. This has just been so clutch, having all these spells cost one less. Alright, I'm looking forward to whatever passive power we can get up next. Hey! Alright, we'll just finish this off with zero mana Mystic Shot. There we go. That was a really, really sweet round. Yeah, because then we just get two real Echoes back, but not Ephemeral anymore. Yeah, and we're healing three for each one of these time tricks. Out of the gates. Little Buddies. Little Buddies is just going to get in the way. <sighs> Out of the gates. So we start with just... We always start with Kempunk Pickpocket in play. That's not the worst, but that doesn't... That's not the best either. Maybe we, maybe we do little buddies. Just gives me more blockers. But little buddies makes the like whenever we get to the point of you know chrono break, it makes that a lot worse. I, th I think we just reroll. Let's reroll again. I want I want another like spells cost one less or refill your spell man every round. You know, something like that. Round start rally. We can we can deal with some round start rally. Round start rally always good. Alright, when I'm summoned, draw one, have challenger or plus four plus four, but cost two more. So we're let's go with the challenger for the echo. We don't want the draw the extra draw one. You know, I want more Echoes in the deck. We don't want the extra draw one in this next matchup, this Hexcore Foundry matchup. We didn't find an Aftershock. Sometimes you find Aftershock in these runs. Landmark Destruction is really important to grab against, like, the Scars and against this one. So if you if you do find an Aftershock, grab those. Oh, that just puts it on top. I don't get to draw it. Gross. Anything else? <laughs> I'm definitely going to want to double Mystic Shot. The Professor. Good. We need that next ceiling. And now I guess I'm gonna... I guess we coup de gras and put one of these 4-4s four just back into the deck. That's probably the play to do. I'll turn them back into 2-2s two whenever they do a, a you know, eventually draw it. Echo! Hmm. If I would have just done that first, I would have been able to block the Zonite Urchin. Probably should have done that. We, of course, do want really cheap cards. Never had luck, never needed. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. You're gonna 
need a map. Okay, I figured that um, Echo was going to be pretty easy to kill, though. And so that's why I grabbed the backup Echo. Three. So we're gonna make that four. Why do I keep doing this one first? <laughs> I should be doing the time trick first. Five. Yeah, with all these time tricks healing three, we should be pretty good to go. I'm surprised they haven't killed the Echo with, you know, like with little removal spells. I'm pretty surprised about that. I thought that would have happened. But yeah, we can keep on making these time tricks and the heal three. Even though I am drawing lots of cards, I think we should still be fine. I'm gonna to want to play these called shots and just create the parallel convergences in the deck because th those are you know new cards that don't have any puff caps. There's a death ray. Been wondering where those are at to kill my echoes. Challenger's pretty nice. Oh, uh, but now I, the Parallel Convergence is right there. I'll just pass. We don't need to draw the card. Ooh, you the best watching the last Hobbit movie right now? How are you liking them? Uh, you said this is the first time you've seen the Hobbit series? If that's what you would call it, a series? Okay, so Katarina... Okay, that's not going to really work. Play this. Chrono Break. Cool. So. Pass. Let's make it deep. Right. Round start rally. Have I been attacking every round? I feel like I haven't been. Okay. So I kind of figured they were going to be shooting the Echo, and so I wanted that Chrono Break. And so I put it on, so we put it on top, so that's why I'm playing the Static Shock to draw cards so we can draw that Chrono Break. Like the fight with Smog in the second movie. Smog is really cool. Ready. You'll never learn. Okay, I have six puff camps. 
I don't know if I need to be playing these things. No, deja vu isn't what it used to be. Oh. How about that? I do my own stunts. Wait till next round for that chrono break. Sorry, Echo. No! Sorry, Echo. All the Echo is gone. Three, six, eight. Okay. Never play I love adventure. I want to do this. Okay, that makes life a little easier. Well, or does it? Or does it? Wish I didn't have those echoes that just died. Now our only play is Chrono Break for sure. We got rid of some of that removal from them. So many rallies. We have a Chrono Break on top, and that's the card that I want. I don't really need to draw more cards. We're at 28 life. I mean, we could heal three. We don't really need to do that. So my plan here is to, like, Parallel Convergence and then Chrono Break. What's our name again? Alright. Katarina's just going to go back to our hand. Oh, man, this is a waste of a Parallel Convergence now. It's an exact copy. Stop killing all my echoes. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if anybody can help out Dan trying to claim the world's card back. I do, my own stunts. I do not know. Oh, I should have cast Hexite Crystal. Yeah, I should have Hexite Crystal. Alright, we'll get back up, back up to 30. Oh, that's a ripoff. Never mind. Oh, I don't even have the room for that card. I was good. I just took it because it cost one mana. Of course. Don't have room for anything. All right, get cards out of our hand. Let's finish this game out. We still have, we have two Katarinas we get to play. They will learn to fear the sun. Alright. 
heal my Nexus first. You only have the two cards left. So they're out of cards. So we can attack and kill them, or I can just pass the round. Might as well attack and kill him. Katarina Lethal. Alright, so we're back up to 30. But yeah, these are <laughs> yeah, these are really long games. But we are going to just be uh, we should be winning this. Like we should be ha having just a Whoa, Flaming Lizard! Gifting out five subs! Thank you so much. We shouldn't have too much trouble with having all the time tricks heal Nexus 3 also. Right. Oh. Okay, we, we get double echo. These are good reinforcements. I like zero mana fallen feline, right? If you you know more zero mana costs, I'm fine with that. But that or we could get double echo. Which we're gonna do. <laughs> Let's do double echo. So now, because like, Chrono Break, bringing back a dead Echo, brings back a second Echo. But then like, also like, your second Echo dies, so then whenever you Chrono Break, you'll bring that Echo back also. Our Echoes are going to be crazy. So we just have to make sure we don't get ran over here by the Foundry. Or by the turrets, sorry. My bad, by the turrets. Um, we'll pass. I'll save my spell mana. I'm gonna take Mystic Shot. Cost zero. I always want more cards to cost zero. The thing is, I can challenge. Oh man, they both have Challenger. We're gonna be able to challenge the Heimerdinger anyway. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you. Because I guess I I do want. Oh no 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 no! I meant to take the damage first. Oh well, that worked. So I meant to take the damage first because. Um. Yeah, that healed my Nexus three, but this. We'll just block. Do I want gotcha? Shoot something with gotcha? No, let's, get, let's just get more echoes. More echo. Real good to see you. All right, this is fine. Perfect. So, <clears throat> I wanted another. Yo, know, I want leveled up echo this next round, basically. And that's what we're gonna have. We shall level up Echo. Doesn't really matter at this point. Pass. Let's take this puppy for a spin. This one, that one definitely doesn't matter. The main thing here is they usually have Thermogenic Beam, and they can Thermogenic Beam and kill Echo. They're not gonna- they also usually have Get Excited, they usually have like Get Excited or Thermogenic Beam. Okay, so they had Thermo. So they get the 4-1. Alright, we'll kill you. Echo. Maybe zero cost Mystic Shot should be the card. Yeah, maybe zero cost Mystic Shot. All right, kill that and that and block that. Chrono Break. Time. 
That Chrono Break is going to be real good next round. Ooh, Chrono Break. Will I have the mana to play double Chrono Break? Probably not, right? No, just one. Oh, we're one mana short. Okay, so Chrono Break's gonna bring back this Echo. And then is this gonna summon an Ephemeral Copy? Is that Echo going to? How can I, help? I guess we shall see. Do we get two Echoes, or do we get one? Yeah, it's summoned and gets an Ephemeral Copy. Man, that's sweet. If only we had one more mana, we could go like infinite with these Echoes. All right, heal our Nexus for a bunch. Sure, you can get in there. Why not? Zero cost card. Man, this is pretty silly. Every time Trick healing Nexus 3 is just GG's. Then we also have Round Start Rally <laughs> with all this. We have too many cards. Excite Crystal, eh? Excite Crystal, eh? Yeah, I definitely just have too many cards. Grab that. Uh, grab that Chrono Break. Real good to see you. Okay, I do kind of want these things to die. I want them to be out of the way. Alright, Chrono Break, get a whole bunch more Hexite Crystals in the deck. I obviously just don't have the room. We're at 30 life, though. We just don't have the room for more cards. We should be able to kill them right here with just another Chrono Break. Rally again. Our secondary champion just didn't matter at all in this run, you know, it's just, we're just an Echo deck. You know, Katarina has mattered so little in these games. We have Allegiance have a tour, which I guess is nice, but this is a one mana two one, so it's just something cheap that we can play. Thank you, Flaming Lizard, thank you for that, for gifting out the subs, I really appreciate that. All right, so now we can give Echo Overwhelm, or we can have Whirling Death, or we could just make more time tricks in the deck. We don't really need more time tricks in the deck. Let's let's give Echo Overwhelm. Yeah. That's not really a necessary keyword, right? Because by the time like Echo's winning, as we see like that, like the, Echo, the Overwhelm doesn't really matter because like whenever we stabilize, we're good. So I guess Whirling Death healing Nexus 3 is like the best way to stabilize, I suppose. But that's alright. Dude, look at how buffed up our Echoes are. 
<laughs> they have Overwhelm and Challenger and cost one less and whatever summon you summon an Ephemeral copy. Pretty bug. Time Trick. So we want these different Time Tricks to help level up Echo on round three. Coup de Grok could be kind of necessary, but probably not. We can take a hit for five. We we'll keep healing our Nexus anyway. Sure. Gonna be for 11 on round two. I don't care. I want any of these. None of those are the predict cards. I'm gonna save my two spell, ma spell mana for my whirling death. Instead of playing Legion Saboteur. Alright, make some more time tricks. Alright, we got leveled up echoes. So now, let's get those chrono breaks in here. Parallel convergence in here. Well, let's get Chrono Break. Nope. We need so much more mana <laughs> than what we have. We have so many cards to play all the time. It's the boss man! It's the boss man. What's up, boss man? Front break! Alright, now we talking, now we talking. Okay. Oh, I have to play this. Slow speed. Oh, right, I have Challenger, and I have the attack token. I should have done that first, but it looks like it's all good. Impact. That's not very good for them. Parallel Convergence? Yes, please. Like usual, ran out of room. Oh, I guess we did have room for one more card. How about that? I have my orders. Colonel Break. Bring an Echo back. Hmm. I don't really know what we're looking for anymore. This one's over. <laughs> it's it's been over for a while, you know. Like it's just our our deck's very good. It's just gonna take just gonna take a little while to actually you know finish the game out. All right, I'm not gonna play this. We don't need more cards in hand. 
Oh, because we were going to make that thing at the beginning of the round anyway, so... Alright, pickpocket gets burned, that's fine. So, parallel convergence. Yeah. Start a free attack. Also, just attack. Yeah, let's just attack. Oh, I have to play this Feral Presence. Oh, I didn't have room for that time trick. Alright, that's fine. What's up, Chrono Break? Perfect. Alright, so we'll have Parallel Convergence and Chrono Break for next round. Perfect. And another Chrono Break. Man, next round is going to be broken. Can I... What can we do? Fortunately, this is only enemy follower. I would like to get rid of these two followers. I, I don't want these in play. But I can't do anything about that. Are you a fast spell? You are a fast spell. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's get you out of hand. No! I don't want that thing in play. Switch the order around. Free attack. Does this have a summon? Oh man, this summons with the free attack, the ephemeral copy also? If, only, if those things weren't in here, we would easily get six echoes this round. Cool, zero mana. I do my own stunts. This is my future. Man, I'm good. Watch the ways. And we got two chrono breaks still. Well, unfortunately, we're only going to be able to get three echoes. <clears throat> you know, it's two other echoes. All these things are in the way. <laughs> Look at all these echoes we would add. Oh, we would add so many echoes. All right, but I guess they're dead. And there we go. There's a run with Echo. And you gotta love that. Like whenever we have our champion, that we really build around the original champion and really showcase it, and not do the secondary champions. Sometimes you have those runs, like where we've had a run where it's like zero cost Katarina, or just use that, or with Zoe. We'll get you some wins, and LeBlanc will get you some wins. Some of the secondary champions you can just win very easily with a secondary champion. But I like that we got to really show off Echo. So that's that's an Echo deck. That's a Predict deck. Get that Feral Senses, Predict every round, and then you can level up Echo super fast. And we got a couple of other awesome powers of that. But that Spell Slinger was a great secondary power that because uh, we cost that made all these spells cost one less because we cast so many spells all the time that that spell slinger was really really useful domination not really that useful i mean it was fine you know like round start rally is cool and everything like that it helped kill our opponent faster but it's not like like we were going to be winning all those games against the ai it just kind of sped it up just a t tiny bit but having another like spell slinger would have been really nice too um but there we go all right so that's echo on legendary mode that's lab run number 15 out of 20. We got five left. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of Echo. This is definitely a fun champion if you want to practice your decision making with having a predict every single round, you're going to do that. It's a little tough to start off with. As we saw there, we almost died to Thresh. Man, that was so close. But by the end, once we got that Spell Slinger power after Thresh, it was kind of over after that. Um... And really, once once we, we had it was once we had time trick heal our Nexus three. That's what it was over because we just cast a million time tricks. 
All right, uh, but that's it here for Echo. So on YouTube, let me know over there. Leave those comments, uh, which one of the next champions you want to see. I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to be doing Aphelios next, and then Lulu, and then we'll have our last three of Heimer, Hecarim, and Talia. we got to get those three in as well. All right, but that's it for the Echo Legendary Lab. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.